Hey everyone, um, I wanted to real quick review the five whys exercise so that you can use this worksheet and uh, do it on your own time if you would like. So the purpose of the five whys is really to do some self-reflection. Why are you in entrepreneurship? And the number one, uh, well, the top two reasons that most people will say that they've chosen entrepreneurship is because they want to make their own money and they don't want to have to deal with a boss. They want to be their own boss. And so I counter with, you should dig deeper. There's always a deeper reason as to um, why someone chooses entrepreneurship. It's definitely not an easy industry or field to go into. And um, there's constant struggle. Not to say that it's bad, it's actually extremely rewarding, but I think we all need to be very clear and honest with ourselves as to why we are embarking on this journey. So I want to go through the five, um, some of the, the things, the five questions or some of the five things that you should think about while you're completing the five whys. Now, the five whys exercise on its own is very simple and straightforward. You are going to ask yourself, why five times as far as um or in reference to being in entrepreneurship and so it would start with and i you can write this down or you can do it verbally i've actually written it down so i'll use a little bit of um what i wrote down as an example so the five whys exercise for myself goes like this um so why are you in, in entrepreneurship or why did you start your own business that is always the first question and for me, let's take me as an artist. I like it. <laughs> that was my answer for the first question. Why are you in the entrepreneurship? In reference to being an artist, it's because I like it. And then the next part is, again, very straightforward. Well, why? Why do you like it? My answer is it's freeing. It's not structured. Um, so that's my number two. It's freeing and not structured. All right, why? Why is that important to you that it's freeing and not structured? My answer was I can get messy, I can mess up, I can make mistakes, and I can still end up creating something that I and or someone else falls in love with. And so the third why would be, well, why is that important? <laughs> um and sorry, the fourth why. Um and Again, in reference to art, this is important because I feel like so many things in my life hinge on my success. If I mess up, I feel like I've begun to dig a hole uh, for myself um, in my career that may be difficult for me to get out of. And so now we're getting somewhere. So here's the last why. Why do I feel like this? And my response is, excuse me, my response is because um, of careers like the military that I've been in um, and working with the state of Virginia, there's little room for uh, for failure and uh, for error. And most of the time, I feel pressured to be a perfectionist and to be the best at what I do. So sometimes I feel like being just okay and having my peaceful creation, my stressless creation be enough. That is why I chose entrepreneurship so that my peace and my happiness and a stress-free life is enough. That is why I'm in entrepreneurship. The money, the flexibility in my schedule, the fact that I don't really have a boss, that's all um, collateral rewards for me, benefits. But really, um, I got down to the nitty gritty of why I'm in entrepreneurship. And so that is the five wise exercise in a nutshell. But these are five things that I want you to think about um, before you do your exercise. So number one is personal motivation. What drives you to, to pursue entrepreneurship as a career? So is it financial freedom? Is it a desire for creative control, a passion for innovation? Um, or is it a desire to make a positive impact in the world? So what is your personal motivation? Number two is skills and strengths. What skills and strengths do you possess that make you a good fit for entrepreneurship? Um, do you have a background in business, marketing, operations, finance? Are you a natural leader or are you a follower? That's okay. We need to understand these things about ourselves. Are you a creative problem solver? What are your skills and strengths? 
Number three is market opportunity. What is the market opportunity that you're pursuing? Are you filling a gap in the market? Are you solving a common problem? Or are you disrupting an industry with a new innovation? And so far, um, with market opportunity, I don't want you to, to include this too much um, in your five whys exercise, but it's always good to, to understand um, what market you're pursuing. So market opportunity, again, don't really focus too much on that in your five whys exercise, um, but it, it's something good to, to, uh, to think about uh, for your business model at a later time. Number four, and I'm sorry, I'm, I have allergies, so I'm getting stuffy. Number four, risk appetite. So how much risk are you willing to take? Are you a risk taker? Are you really risky? Are you, um, are you kind of a moderate risk taker? Are you conservative? Um, are you comfortable with the uncertainty that um, you're going to have ups and downs in entrepreneurship? You're not always going to make money. You're going to lose money sometimes. Are you okay with that? Do you prefer stability um, and predictability? So these are things that you need to understand about yourself in terms of risk appetite. And then number five, long-term goals. So what are your goals? What are your long-term goals for your business, for your, your entrepreneurship journey? Do you want to build a successful company that can be passed down to your children and to your family? Um, do you plan on eventually exiting your business and selling it? Um, and then lastly, do you want to make a positive impact on society or are you just simply interested in creating wealth for yourself, which is okay. These are five of the things that I want you to keep in the back of your mind before you do your five wise exercise. Or if you think that this is going to taint your answers, go over this and, and kind of reflect on these five things after you complete your five wise exercise. But these are all things that are very important for entrepreneurs to understand, um, preferably at the beginning of their entrepreneurship journey, but you can definitely reflect on this throughout your entrepreneurship journey. And so I want you to sit down. I want you to complete the five wise exercise and let me know what you think if you are comfortable with sharing your um, your results, your answers, by all means do that. If not, just let me know what you think about the exercise. And if you think that it's helpful or beneficial for you, or if it could be for any other entrepreneur, whether they're a seasoned entrepreneur or a, uh, a beginning entrepreneur. So go ahead and do the exercise and I will see you in the next video.